What's up guys and babes, it's your girl. I'm back again. And once again, I'm tired. <laughs> Let me tell you, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I do have my red jacket on again and my little Brooklyn shirt, right? But there's a reason for that. I wore a cute little outfit. It was kind of cartoonish, but whatever. And it was red, white, and blue. And today is Veterans Day. When I'm gonna get this up, I don't know. It may be Thanksgiving, it may be Christmas. I don't know. So, Dawn, she was like, the English lead, she was like, oh, don't forget to wear your red, white, and blue tomorrow. And I was like, but I wore that today. And she's like, well, you don't have to. It's just suggested. I was like, you know, I'm trying to be a team player. So I was like, Joy, what are you going to wear? What you going to wear? What? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm acting silly. I got to go for real, though. I'm going to try to make it to Bobby's basketball game. And I think she really wants me to be there because she was like, Mom, are you going to come to my game? I was like, I could try. I have tutorials Wednesday evening and blah, blah, blah. And so the tutorials, I'm like, another teacher told me like when, because I stay, stay late, I have to stay late for my tutorials and the kids have to make an appointment. And another teacher was like, no, when someone requests a tutorial, they have to send me an agenda or what they want reviewed so I can prepare. You may prepare a few worksheets and so you could go over it and have examples. You have your stuff set up, but when you come in cold and you don't have an agenda. What can I help you with? Yes. <laughs> you know, you have a whole bunch of uh, incomplete things here. You got to submit them. Then maybe we can work with uh, where your weaknesses are. So if you're not doing the assignments, that's let's start there. Let's start with doing the assignments. I'm still surprised how parents, I know I've said this before, just pretend like you hear it for the first time. I'm, it still surprises me how parents are ready to jump on a teacher for the work that their child is not doing. It's always the teacher's fault. Well, I'm going to call the administration. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm like, do whatever you got to do. You know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that just make my nerves bad. It just makes my nerves bad. So anyway, I want to show you this outfit. Oh, and I have some, some news I want to share. And so this is it. So I, I had to find something red, white, and blue to put on for you. And so today was, it was a good day. I was my class's warm up today so i was the subject of the warm up and a lot of the kids said the same thing i'll have to do another video on that and i collected them because they were all sweet so they had to create three complete sentences about miss basil but they had to use figurative language um they had metaphor simile hyperbole onomatopoeia which would be my hat onomatopoeia's boom crash bling you know so i had my hat on today to represent the onomatopoeia um then they had personification and hyperbole hyperbole is an extreme exaggeration for example oh my god if i don't do my homework my mother's gonna kill me she's really not gonna get you really doing extra okay calm down have several seats so that would be an extreme exaggeration which is therefore hyperbole blah 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 so what happened was i had to figure out the red so i just threw the jacket back on and put on a red white and blue t-shirt and i just found some white slacks so here we go and i got my little adidas 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 <laughs> So, and this belt really doesn't go, but I was like, I got to do something. I got to do something. So, I threw the belt on, threw the hat on. And so, what happened, you're not supposed to wear a hat at work. But I was like, I needed the blue. And then I was like, bam, bang, zoom. My mind was going and going and going. And I was like, bam, I got my warm up. I'm going to be the warm up. I'm going to be the sunshine in their life and the sparkle in their eye. So I took some pictures, 
put it on my screenshot. I'll see if I can insert it right here. And they had to create three complete sentences about Miss B. And so that's what the kids did today. Oh, shit, I almost forgot my water bottle. <sighs> Make sure you get your coldest water bottle, honey. And let me tell you something. You get your water bottle and start stocking up now because Christmas is coming. And one of my kids saw my water bottle in class. They was like, oh, where you get that from? And you know only YouTubers have that. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. I was like, check out the link in the description box below. <laughs> and they're doing 20% off if you order in November. <laughs> so check them out, y'all. But on a sad note, very, very, very sad note. I was informed this morning. I was informed this morning. Somebody sent me a message on Instagram. And I did another video where I said that Connie Child was, was, was not feeling well. And they emailed me this morning or sent me a message through Instagram that said that Connie passed away. Connie Child passed away. And my little heart just, it just, it just, I was just really, really sad. And then it made me wonder, maybe she was, uh, something was just made her open her heart to the kids and I, I don't know. I mean, that experience with her is something I've never, ever experienced before in my life. And I was just like, no, um, she had cancer and the cancer came back, but it came back with a vengeance. And when I talked to her, she said that she was going to start her treatment and stuff, but it had spread. Um, that the cancer had spread, but I'm thinking she was going through treatment. I had emailed her like three times. Connie, what's going on? How's the treatment? How you doing? What's going on? What's going on? And no reply. I was like, oh, she must really be sick. You know, because with chemo, you get really sad. I was like, oh, she must really be sick or going through it because she's not responding. And the last time um, we communicated back and forth was November 2nd. And someone sent me that message on Instagram who was a close friend of her and knew her for well over 20 years. I'm glad she told me and said that. Um, she said, I'm not sure if you know, but Connie passed away November 6th. And I was like, I just spoke to Connie. And then I went back to my messages and my email, and it was November 2nd, the last time we communicated. And we were communicating. She was talking about her food and about her treatment that she had coming and stuff. So it was just like, it was so fast. My little heart broke. It really did. She was, you know, maybe the way the sun and the moon aligns with the earth. Something just said you need to give and open your heart to this family and she fell in love with her. She watched every last one of my videos, every last one. And at this point I probably have combined with all my channels, probably a thousand videos. Mm -hmm. And Connie watched every last one. So I just wanted you guys to know she's gone and you know, send your prayers. I think they have a service for her coming up on the 18th. And she lives in California. So, I wonder if they're going to stream it. Probably not. So, she's gone. Yeah, my heart just sunk. Alright guys, I'm going to go and try to make it to Bobby's game. She was like, Mom, even if you make like one half of the game, you know, the second half, that's fine too. So she really wants me to be there. So I'm going to go do that. It's 5 o'clock and I think the game starts at 6. So I'll, And it's a long drive, so I probably won't make it to like 6.20. And if there's traffic, I'll be missing the first half. Alright guys, well... Yeah, I feel really bad. All right. I'll see you guys later. I wish it was good news. but I, And I just mentioned in a video that she wasn't feeling well. I didn't know this was going to come up a couple of days later. So that was shocking in itself. 
All right, guys, get this video, whatever. I'll talk to you later.